I have more projects to share with you guys. I've been working on boiling down tannic acid for tanning sheepskin again. I've also got some charcoal burning over here. That's a bunch of wood that I collected for that purpose. So starting with this little contraption, I've got a brazier built at the bottom made from a large brake drum from a uh, some kind of van, I forget what type, and a small brake drum on the bottom is separated by a set of bricks so that airflow comes through the bottom and the ashes and coals just drop on the brake drum beneath while the main fire is contained in, in the large drum. So that's the brazier and I've got a pot suspended over it just with the use of some rebar and some stacks of 2x4. Inside I've got a concoction of water and bark which has been boiling away to produce tannic acid and a bunch of bubbles on top. actually smells rather nice. And over here I've got my cinder block kiln with a dome made out of sheet steel or corrugated sheet steel. I've filled it full of this hardwood on the inside and it is blazing quite furiously. I'll show you the inside here. This is very hot, so I've got to use tongs. So inside there's a big steel drum that's also full of hardwood pieces and as they're getting roasted inside the barrel they become charred. Now because it's an enclosed barrel there's uh, the gases from the wood being driven off by the heat are pushing out the seams as well as through a pipe that you can't really see because it's in the middle of the fire. The pipe goes in the front top of the barrel and the gases come out the pipe in the middle of the fire and ignite. So there's always gas flowing out of the barrel which means there's no room for oxygen to flow in which means that the wood does not actually combust, it just chars all the way through. And when it's all done, I'll leave the barrel to cool down overnight, and it will be charcoal. So that's the, that's the charcoal maker. That's the brazier with the tannic acid. Very, very much fun playing with fire here. With safety precautions in, in place, of course. It's very damp out today, lots of wet grass surrounding the place. I've got a bucket over there for water. This is a box full of the finished product of charcoal, as you can see. Nice and black. It's charred all the way through. All the little pieces, all charred charcoal all the way through. So that's good for cooking or for forging, which is what I intend to use that bit for. Oh, this is my new desk, my, uh, my new work desk, workbench here that I don't think you've seen. It's in construction, all made out of stuff I pulled out home from the shop. It's a granite countertop. Used granite, very heavily used, not very pretty, but functional. Anyway, oh, I see a little doggy. There's a doggy coming. And this is one more project I've been working on. We're trying to put a small greenhouse together. So these are all sheets of glass that Dad took back home from Lubingo from display cases they were getting rid of. It's tempered glass, so it can't be cut or broken very easily. Well, it can't be cut, it just shatters when you cut it. Very hard to break. And we're going to put it together into a little greenhouse box. Those are our failed potato boxes. They're not going to try them again this year. They did not do very well. We're cannibalizing some of the parts for this greenhouse box. So I let him out because he wanted to. He wanted to see you. He was going crazy. Crazy dog. This is what. sheep sheep feeding you, person. You should have you should have shown though. I didn't know you took the video. Okay. I shut everything up now. We can go look at the lambs. In there. Oh, actually, no, maybe we can't. I have 30 seconds left on the timer. Okay. That's all.